Has your prayer life gone to the dogs? I mean, think about it. Um, a lot of saints, a lot of people this day and age, they just say a quick prayer or get out of bed and they're so in a hurry. They just, you know, don't have time for the Lord. And it's like, come on, guys, we got to do better. Um, and you can pray all day long. I mean, don't get me wrong on that. You seriously can pray all day long. But um, it really makes a difference if your prayer life has gone to the bow wows, then it's time to get up, get out of the doghouse, and get in your prayer closet. I love my little prayer closet. My house ain't much bigger than the closet. <laughs> so, hey, I can pray in the whole house and still be my prayer closet. Uh, bless you today, sister with a testimony. I'm just feeling so excited and so happy. I'm like, oh, yes, Jesus. Bless them, bless them, bless them. Um, hey, you got to stay upbeat. I ain't worried about what's going on around me. I'm just going to stay in prayer. Uh, Psalms 5, chapter 5, verses 1 through 3 says, Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Yeah, and this is the kind of meditation that's godly, not the guru, yoga, uh, transcendental meditation. Yeah, none of that stuff. Yeah, the real kind of meditation on the Word of God. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Lord, let it be proper. Hearken unto the voice of my cry, my King and my God, Yahuwah. For unto thee will I pray. My voice shalt thou hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee, and I will look up. So saints right here, you know, you're, you're, you're talking about King David. He knew the importance of getting up in the morning. And um, I'm sure at points in his life... His prayer life had gone to the bow wows. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, we don't want to be that. But hey, you know, you can always repent and get up, dust yourself off, and move on. So it should be a daily thing to examine ourselves. Psalm chapter 2. Oh, wait a minute. Eh, no, that's not right. Psalm 121. Yeah. 1 through 8. Psalm 121. 1 through 8. Ooh, that's a good one. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence my help cometh. Oh, yes, my help comes from the Lord, which made the heaven and the earth. I declare and decree that over you today, saints. Your help comes from the Lord. He made the heavens and the earth. He can help you. He will not suffer your foot to be moved, and he that keeps you will not slumber. Wow, you know, I just got to praise and thank the Lord because while he's awake keeping me, I'm sleeping and slumbering. Uh, let's, not, let's not have our uh, prayer life be slumbering. Uh, behold, he that keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. I declare and decree that over you today. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is the shade upon your right hand. See, I got a little bit of sun over here. A little shade over here. Yeah. The sun will not smite you by day, nor the moon by night, saints. The Lord will preserve you from all evil. Mm, he will preserve thy soul. Woo, Lord, it makes me think about Psalms 23. Yeah, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Woo, he maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. Now think about that, saints. If he's got to restore your soul, that means there has to be some, you know, some help there from the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm, because he's neither slumbering nor sleeping. So if he's restoring my soul, that means every day on a daily basis... I need that restoration. I need that meditation. So I'm just praying over you today that you'll receive that sweet rest and that restoration that he promises us. He shall preserve thy soul. He restoreth my soul. Whew, I don't know about y'all, but that sounds good to me today. The Lord will preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to lift you up today, saints, that you will know that your Redeemer lives because on a daily basis you know that He's restoring your soul. He is preserving your soul. The Word of God says that if you will lift your eyes up unto the hills and don't think that other people are going to come and help you and rescue you. It's the Lord that is your help. He'll send people to you. He'll some, send somebody with you with a word of encouragement. Um, he'll send somebody to pray with you over Facebook. Um, if you can't get anybody to pray with you, just go on Facebook and start praying for people. Somebody will get the they'll get the drift maybe they'll pray for you back uh the word of god declares and decrees every time we speak it out see the sword of the spirit is 
the spoken word of God. It, it's not just the word written on paper. When you start speaking the word of God, that's when it becomes that weapon. It's a weapon of praise. It's a weapon of opposition. It's a weapon of defense. But what it is, is a weapon not only to allow you, wow, access. Now think about that. The spoken word of God. The access comes from, from the blood of the lamb. And you know that you've got it. But if you never crack the book and speak anything out of your face... How are you going to know what your promises are? The promises of God are yes and amen in Jesus Christ. Yes and amen. He will not suffer your foot to be moved. I declare and decree today that you will put your foot on the neck of your enemy in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And the Lord will keep you. And he will not slumber nor sleep. But you're going to keep your foot on the neck of the enemy until they're destroyed, until they're defeated. Saints, you've got a weapon. And it's the spoken word of God. It's the sword of the spirit. The Lord is your keeper. I declare and decree. I just, just, mm, Lord, let that word just come over us this morning. The Lord is our keeper. Just tell, say, Lord, you are my keeper. You are my shade upon my right hand. Father God, the sun will not smite us by day nor the moon by night. Thank you, Lord. Mm, hallelujah. Father God, the Lord will preserve my brothers and sisters. From all evil. Saints, that just didn't mean one or two evils. That says all evil. Okay, all. Submit yourself, therefore, unto the Lord. Mm. And if you do that, saints, if you submit yourself, therefore, unto the Lord, resist the devil, he will flee from you. You got to submit first. I, I seen something on uh, online the other day, and I read it, and I just smiled. And that's like, oh, you know, you don't ever engage. You don't, you know, the Lord fights all your battles. He wins all. He, no, seriously, dude, he already won all the battles. He already won all the victories, but you've still got to engage. And if you think, brother and sister, saint, sinner, whoever you are, if you think that you do not have to use the word and fight the good fight of faith, then you need to go back to Sunday school, okay? Better yet, you just need to open this word and start reading it out loud. Because there is no reason that we would be told that, you know, the Lord prepares my hands for battle and my fingers to fight. Okay? Sometimes I get that backwards. But we know that these hands are is for fighting and war. Okay? Wah! Okay? The, the voice, the spoken word of God. You know, there'd be no reason for me to just... Why am I even here if I'm not supposed to do nothing? If I'm just supposed to sit there and Jesus is going to do everything for me. No. You got your part to do and he does his part. Guess what? He already won all the battles, all the fights. They're victories. But you still got to get up and do something so that you can say that I'm part of that victorious crowd. Yeah. The word. The Lord will preserve you from all evil. He will preserve thy soul. Mm, he restoreth my soul. The Lord will preserve your going out and your coming in from this time and what? For even, forever, forevermore, even forevermore. Think about that, saint. This is a promise to you. It's a promise to me. Submit yourself, therefore, unto the Lord. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. You have every spiritual blessing, saint. You have been blessed with every spiritual blessing. You have the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit lives in you, you have everything that you need. He will teach you everything. There is no reason for your prayer life to go to. Okay, seriously. Don't let your prayer life go to the dog, saints, because believe me, them barking dogs will turn around and bite you. It's in the word. Yeah, the barking dogs. So saints, bow wow. Let's get this right. Lift up the name of Jesus. Glorify the name of Jesus. Father God, we draw upon the heavens and we just declare and decree today that our resources have been supplied by you, Lord. We draw upon the heavenly resources in the name of Jesus. The word of God says that he will supply all of our needs according to his what? Glory in Christ Jesus. He's already provided for us. I confess this day 
in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. And I'm in this day. I don't have to worry about tomorrow because according to um, Matthew 6, 33 and 34, if I search after the Lord with all of my heart and I just stay before him, saints, and I glorify, and I glorify the name of Jesus, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. All these things will be added unto you. Take no thought for tomorrow. Tomorrow's got enough evil in itself to take care of itself. Okay? You're not there yet. So don't worry about tomorrow. Quit stressing about tomorrow. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. I declare that all the elements have to, cre they have to cooperate with me. The word of God says... And Isaiah 45, 11, command ye me the work of my hands. I'm not commanding God, but the work of his hands, whatever he created, I have a right as his child filled with the Holy Spirit to command the work of his hands so that his, his will be done on this earth, not mine, not yours, not ours collectively. The, the church can hoop and holler all day long about dominion authority and I'm this and I'm that. But let me tell you what. We can continuously sit there and think in our mind what our plans are, saints. Guess what? God's purpose and plan is going to prevail. All my thoughts are most of the time just thoughts. So I'm going to stay my mind where? On the word of God. And if I'm thinking on things above and not on things below... I'm going to be praying the word of God. I'm going to be commanding the word of God. I'm going to be I'm going to be commanding the work of his hands according to the word of God that his will be done and not mine. And I'm not going to be praying amiss because I'm going to be in the word. So I'm going to declare and decree today that the elements cooperate with you. The elements. The sun, the moon, the stars, the wind, everything. Father God, he is in control and he's the one that controls everything. But we have to declare and decree from our position on earth, knowing that we're seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. Guys, I'm not praying an earthbound prayer. It's not earthbound. The Holy Spirit lives in me. The Holy Spirit is in, in the heavenlies with the Lord. I mean, the Holy Spirit is everywhere. He's God. Okay, think about that. We are not living a defeated, purposeless life. We have every spiritual blessing. I'm going to just drive that home. I declare and decree today that the elemental forces will refuse refuse to cooperate with my enemies. Yeah, there's not going to be any cooperation between them because in the name of Jesus, the blood of the Lamb severs every demonic network set against my life. Oh, demonic networking. Yeah, imagine that. You don't think they're setting it up for you? Mm-hmm. Well, right now, just remove everybody, everybody's name that I can even think of. And if you're watching or if you're going to watch, I declare and decree that your name will be removed from the cauldron pots of the enemy. That there'll be holes in those cauldron pots. And your name and your family's name, your church's name, everything that pertains to you is going to be removed out of those witches' brewing pots. Yes, those devils, they are praying against us. And guess what? Spoken word of God stops them. The elemental forces will not come against us today because we are the righteousness of God. The blood of the Lamb hides us. The blood of the lamb covers us. The blood of the lamb who is Yeshua HaMashiach hides us, protects us, and keeps us. The blood of the lamb is still just as powerful and just as amazing and just as life-saving and just as salvation as it was when he bled and died on the cross. Saints, it is time to get up, declare and decree the word of God over your life. And I speak in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach by the power of the Holy Spirit, Kadesh Ruach, that your day will be glorious, that your day will be glorious unto the Lord and that you will please him today, that he will shine his countenance upon you and that you will not lack any good thing. I declare and decree that you will be in the right place at the right time. You will not be in the right place at the wrong time, but the Lord is ordering your steps today and I declare and decree saints and I have that authority and you have that authority we all have that authority in the name of Yeshua the enemy is under your feet and if he ain't under your feet, then he's behind you. So stop looking back. I speak over your mind today that you will not be depressed. You will not be upset. You will not be stressed. You will not be messed with. You will not be bullied. You will not be harassed because you know who you are in Christ. You take that sword of the spirit, which is the spoken word of God, and you utilize it, saints. Don't sit there thinking a prayer because if it doesn't come out of your face, it's a thought. Okay? It's a thought. The Lord knows your thoughts, but you've got to make your requests known in the name of Yahshua. I bless you. I'm on fire today. I'm going to keep praying. 
So, hey, you know, y'all can send your prayer requests over. That's what I do. If your prayer life has gone to the dogs, you might need some help. But um, the Word of God says if you're afflicted, you pray. If you're merry, sing psalms. If you're sick, call for the, call for the elders of the church. And they should come pray for you and anoint you with oil in the name of the Lord. And if, hey, if you've committed sins, they'll be forgiven. You'll be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. So saints, where's your prayer life? We all need prayer, saints. We all need to come together. We all need to love one another, accept one another, forgive one another. Now I'm not talking about unbelievers. Saints, I'm talking about believers. This is for us today. We need to get on the ball. Either that or we need to get, you know, out of the boat, okay? Launch out into the deep. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I bless you. I love you today. And remember, if your prayer life has gone to the dogs, it's time for you to do something about it. It's almost like you need to throw God a bone. Yeah, guess what? It don't work that way. It's time to get up and give him your whole entire life. It's time to get up. And it's time to give him everything. It's time to surrender. Yeah. I surrender all. Yeah. You know what the deal is, saints? Most of us surrendered part of it. We keep the rest of it for ourselves because more than likely we think we can handle it on our own. Mm-mm. Have a blessed day. I love y'all.